Welcome to another episode of Really Dicey, and we're going to open up the starter set of Call of Cthulhu, made by Chaosium Games. Uh, that's my corny <laughs> intro. Okay, that's the intro. <laughs> intro done. Okay, intro accomplished. Okay. Right. So, uh, I, I, I don't think, with the exception of a few times with you, I think, even, even that was slightly, I don't think we ever played a Call of Cthulhu game that, that, uh, that I can recall. Um, you play different role playing systems. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, we think play... we've ever done. I've run lots of Call of Cthulhu. Yeah, and I've, I'm I'm still very very green on this. So what what edition is this? This is the latest edition of Cthulhu. Uh, it now being 2020, the latest edition is the seventh edition. All editions all the editions are very similar with little tiny tweaks. Hmm. Uh, but you should know that this one is the seventh edition. I uh, picked this up. I when I interviewed the. Um, one of the owners of, of Chaosium, uh, he was hi highlighting this module very much. He said, if you want to learn how to play it, this is where you start. Uh, so, yeah. yeah okay. I, I, I wanted to check out not only for our viewers, but I myself want to see what's in this box. Well, it looks beautiful. I really like it. Uh, I love the picture. That's fantastic. Look, squids. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a box set. Oh, I love box sets yes. so much. So let's. looks like there's a lot of stuff in here. My goodness. Let's open it up and see what we got. Okay. So <clears throat> we have a full set of dice. Okay. Which is interesting because it's a... It's a percentile system, so... <laughs> is it? Okay. Yes, I'll yes. That it's, a, it's a percentile system. So they use D20s or anything like that? Or? Um, I believe, from what I remember, you you use a different, the other dice for um, damage and things. But for, for most of the rolls, um, you're rolling a percentage. Like, your, your stat will be, uh, your skill will be uh, a 65. You have to roll under a 65, so you roll 2 oh, d 10s so. All yeah. right, so here's a list of what's in the box. We have book one. Book one is Alone Against the Flames, a solo introductory adventure, which teaches you the basics. All right. Well, oh, looks very nice. Okay, so it's a choose-your-own-adventure sort of thing. Oh, okay, so kind of like... Give you an idea of how role playing works. Yeah, if you go down the left passage, turn to page one forty eight. If you go down the right passage, go to page fifty three and have your face eaten. So there you go. <laughs> All right, book two, the introductory rules. Okay. It'll be a stripped down version of the the rules uh, for the game. Are the rules very complicated? I know you've played before. Uh, they are not. Okay. Um, they are, um, well, first of all, the percentile system is just incredibly intuitive. Everybody knows what a 35% means. <laughs> so, if, you know, you have, you have, uh, you have anthropology of 35%, it's really easy to understand. Um, but it's got lots of, um, you know, lots of, uh, uh, Lots of fiddly bits, kind of to change that. Um, it has a surprisingly robust uh, combat system you know, okay. for a game where combat will get you killed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this paper chases okay. is some other adventures. So once you get started, this counts with uh, four adventures. Uh, yes, yes. All right, I'll. I'll... I think it said it had. Four different adventures, which is which is good. Um, yeah, the, there, so there's three adventures in there, and then there's Against the Flames, which is that solo adventure. Okay. Well, I have to say, I, I like the design of the book. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, I, I mean, I, I like the art that they chose for it. I like the fact that there's letters. Oh yeah, uh, Call of Cthulhu is really big on handouts and clues and things. Okay. So then we have pre-generated uh, investigators that go along with these adventures. These are from uh, the 1920s. The investigator. Okay. Uh, there we have another investigator. All, everything filled out. Names, um, occupations. Okay. Bring this a little closer. 
closer so our viewers could see it. Oh, very interesting. <laughs> and of course, we, we have a, a slight sense of humor here. This is this guy in the fedora is Nevada Jones, because of course he is. <laughs> <laughs> He's a archaeology professor. <laughs> uh, okay. So it looks like the adventures take place in the 1920s, which is the classic era for Call of Cthulhu, because those were when the Lovecraft stories took place. Uh, you can also play the game, um, the, the main rulebook allows you to play the game in a contemporary setting. And then there are source books which allow you to play in earlier settings. Oh, okay. A Victorian setting, uh, a, even a Roman setting. Yeah. Hmm. But the, the basic game is going to be in the 20s. So and then so those are the pre-made generator, pre-generated investigators. And here are blank investigator sheets to make your own investigators. And then, finally, we have handouts that go along with the adventures. Letters um, for the game. Ooh, is there a map? There is. There's lots of maps. Nice. Okay, so there are handouts for the characters. Lots of maps there. A basement map. <clears throat> the old garage. And, of course, the cemetery. <laughs> And here we have a map of Harlem, 1925. It goes along with the adventure. So that is a good amount of stuff. Yeah, wow. Uh, for $25, I think that's a pretty good investment. You could, you could play with just this box set for quite some time. You've got three whole adventures, then you've got blank character sheets and the simplified rules. Hmm. You could play with this for uh, quite some time. All right. And then move on to the um, the main rule book if you decide you want more. All right. Let's take a, a quick break so we can just kind of look at uh, these books sure. more carefully. So we've had a chance to look at some of the books here. Um, I looked at uh, Against the Flames, Alone Against the Flames. This is a, a solo adventure where you make a character and it guides you through character creation and then... You read through the adventure, making choices as you go, uh, like a choose-your-own-adventure book. But it's um, a little more complicated than that. You take roles, uh, and you succeed in skills, and it, um, it guides you through if you've never played a role-playing game or if you've never played this game. It's a good introductory. Yeah, even though I, I played D&D for a long time, I would use this book just so I get to know the system better. Yeah. Because it's always that... Uh, that awkwardness in the beginning when you're playing a new system, like, okay, it's, so this uses percentiles, all right, how, how do I roll for that exactly? How does that work? Yeah, this would be really helpful if no one's played the game before. Hmm. You know, often you'll get together and the one person who's played the game before is the GM or something. Yeah. Uh, if no one's played the game before, this is a good way to learn the system. All right, and then this gives you a truncated version of... Yep, this is the system. This will give you... Um, Pretty much everything you need. Uh, you can. It's got character creation. It gives a description of the skills. It tells you how to roll the dice. How this basic system works. It goes over combat and hit points and healing. Uh, it's got a little section on experience. Hmm. So it's everything you need to play the game. What it doesn't have is it doesn't have any magic in it. Hmm. Uh, in in the full rules, your character. Uh, can use magic if he wants to go insane and melt his brain. Magic is very dangerous. But that is <laughs> not in this book. One last thing to say. This is indeed a starter set if you already have the Call of Cthulhu rulebook. Or indeed if you know the game. You do not need this. This is no new information. Everything you find in here you will find in the main game as well. Alright. That's good to know. 